Uh, another trespasser, another issue that I had to deal with. <laughs> They better not be going through my yard because I already warned them yesterday. I have my camera outside recording as well. Because I own all the way up to that telephone pole over there, so. Which looks like that's exactly what he's trying to do. All right, I'm going out there. Hey! No! You're not going through my yard to get that car. Sorry. You're not driving through my yard. Oh, I'm sorry. What do you mean you're sorry? You're doing it on purpose. I was just trying to remove it. I'm sorry about that. You ever heard of private property? I had my fence. I had my fence cut yesterday. Yeah, I wasn't sure if there was a fence line or what. I'm sorry. It's well, the, somebody else came yesterday and they came and cut my fence. Oh. I have a camera rolling on my porch as well, watching everything. So. I even. I even told the lady over there, "Don't go on this side of the telephone pole because her yard's like." No, I can see that. And I know that's why everybody's trying to come through my yard, and it's not going to happen. Just go on the other side of the telephone pole. I just don't want anything else happening to my property. Just, just know that my camera's still rolling on the porch. It's right on the edge of my property, but I'm not letting anybody drive through my yard again. They already tore it up. As long as you're going on that side of the telephone pole, nothing on this side. And I'm sorry if it makes it a pain for you, but I've already talked to her. The cop's already been over here. Yeah, I called the sheriff's department over here because somebody cut my fence. And I don't trust anybody else coming over. I've already talked to her and said, don't have anybody come on my property. And I saw you pull up earlier and I got the camera. I already knew that somebody was going to come through. I mean, it's pretty clear right now. <laughs> you can tell where their property is compared to mine, so. All right, I'm just, I'm taking all my precautions because I said, like I said, somebody came over here and went through my yard several times and then uh, my fence got cut, so. I mean, I don't care what to do as long as it's not on my property. I'm not trying to be or anything, but like I said, uh, I already called the sheriff out here last time because my damage, my property got damaged and. It just needs to be on the other side of the pole. You can park your trailer on the other side of the pole and then get the car and pull it on that side. And I'm going to go talk to her again and let her know that this is the second time. I don't want to, I don't need more damage. It, it would be, it would be. I'm not trying to be either, but like I said, I don't like people on my property. And then there's already ruts in my yard and I take care of my stuff pretty well. So, all right, well, I'm just going to ask to be on the other side of the pole and not drag it through the yard. So. If it makes it difficult, I'm sorry, but it is what it is. Well, it's right on the property line. Like the telephone pole is my property, so it's right on the line. So it, it can easily be towed on the other side. It's just I don't want anything in the yard getting messed up. Not the same person as last time, but I have my camera on my porch filming everything. I saw him backing up. I knew exactly what he was doing. He went and knocked the neighbor's door. She didn't tell him not to come on my property. I am recording everything. I have a YouTube channel and I have a lot of people to watch. So he, uh, he said he's moving everything. You can see behind me, he's going to back up and be on the other side of the telephone pole. I said, I don't mind you getting this stuff as long as you don't tear up my property. So he's going to back up. And I said, anything on the left side of the telephone pole is mine. Everything else is hers. So keep it on their property. He agreed. So that's what he's doing right now.
so I'm walking out here where the guy was trying to pull into my yard. I'm going to show you if there was any damage or not. It had just rained a whole bunch, and that's what I was afraid of because my ditches are still full of water, which you can see. And that's all I need is a big diesel truck like that with a trailer trying to drag a car out. He claimed he didn't know where the property line was. Um, I don't know. I'll show you exactly where he was pulling in and how far off into my property that he was trying to back up his trailer. I caught him about 12 feet into my property. I knew he was getting ready to go all the way, so that's why I stopped him. And uh, he just kind of pretended like he didn't know where the line was. So, yeah, you can definitely see some ruts in my yard. It would have just tore up my yard. Check this out. So there are the ruts when he was backing up. He said he claimed that the fence line was my property line, but even here you can see how far off he was into my property. Those are the tire marks from him way over there. My fence line's way over here, so he knew damn well that he was not on this other lady's property. This is her property, this ugly little swamp back here. And you can tell where he drug the car over here because I told him he needs to stay on this side of the telephone pole because that's her property. So yeah, that's what hers looks like and that's why he didn't want to do it. Here's where the other person was driving through my property. And then this guy way over here. So I called that guy's BS when he said he didn't know where the property line was. I said it's pretty clear if you couldn't tell by the that mess and my property. See, I called the guy's bluff when he said he didn't know where the property line was. He's full of BS. Definitely in my yard. I don't like trespassers. And that's the exact reason why I came out and filmed it. In case something happened, I let him know that my fence was damaged the other day. I had to call the sheriff's department. Uh, that they were on my property as well. Have some uh, respect for people, guys. You know your boundaries. If you're going to pick up something, make sure you at least ask the homeowner where their property is. And not just go into somebody else's property and start tearing it up. So, I'm glad I had everything filmed. I let the guy know that I was filming everything. I had a camera sitting on my porch filming the whole thing from afar and then I had my cell phone which you guys saw me confronting him at the fence so I told the guy as well that I was going to zoom in on his license plate I even read it off on my video I'm probably not going to show that clip since nothing else was damaged on my property but he knows that his license plate was uh, filmed I told him everything was filmed in case anything happened he said that's fine and that's when he moved on over to the next uh, property over to the neighbor's property where the car was actually at uh, another trespasser Another issue that I had to deal with. Hope you guys enjoyed today's quick video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be buying some trespassing signs, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.